Hello everyone, it's Laxor again with another video and this one might trigger, might rustle some jimmies, might trigger some of you because yeah, 2000 corruption, your builds might be bad very soon, in about two months-ish roughly. Because in the last, Mike has said this before, Mike, the head of design I believe and CEO of 11th Hour Games who made last epoch, he has said it on his last stream that 2000 Corruption was not intended for any build. He even go, go, went so far to say he checked the builds that made it to 2K Corruption. And all of them did it because they were using something that wasn't intended by the devs. For example, with the, um, the Warlock, uh, he gained 40% ward instead of 4%, I believe, something like that. Um, the Mark, the Navy Marksman build is bugged. We know that they have said this before. The Paladin build, I think, also has a bug because the the node actually says it applies ward to your allies, but when you use it, it also applies ward to yourself. So you go to 15k ward. I don't think this is intention intentional for anyone to have 15k ward in this game. So every build that goes to 2k most likely uses a bug to get there. All right, this is a tough thing to say because that makes everyone a bug abuser. You won't get banned. It's a bug in the game, all right? It's all good. You can play with it. It's all fine. You won't get banned. But it is not intended by the devs. They even said there is no more extra content after about 200 to 260 corruption. At 200 corruption, you get the Omnis Amulet, which is the highest corruption item you can specifically get. You have to get to 200 corruption. And the Prophecy sort of max out, and I believe 260 corruption. So if you go above 300 corruption, as I said in my video, even though people called me out, it's a waste of time. Now he did also say, the higher you go in corruption, the higher your drop chance for rarer items is. It's just a flat percentage increase, nothing crazy. The higher the corruption, the higher the chance on crazy items. Yes. But there is no specific content for that and you get good drops at 200, 300 corruption already. And you drop great items already at 200 corruption, so this is really where you can go and this is the end of it. Alright? This is where, where it all ends. 200, 300 corruption, I think, roughly is where it ends. This also means, though, 1.1, which will become, like, the next cycle, which will be coming in, like, two months-ish, that will change a lot. They will change a lot of these builds, they will fix all these bugs, they will change ward a lot. They said they're gonna nerf ward, which is currently the main thing that makes it even possible to go to that high of a corruption. So I think, personally think, once we go into the next cycle, you won't see builds going to 2k corruption as much as we do right now, if at all. Maybe not even 1k corruption. I think this will change a lot about how the game is played and what people will do with their builds. And it also means if your character is currently sitting at 2k corruption, it might get bricked because you can't just play anymore with that build. So you might want to reduce your corruption <laughs> uh, until then. Or you just make a new character, whatever. But they're going to change a lot about this. They said it on the stream. Ward will be nerfed. It's too strong right now because it's literally used on any build like Exanguinous over here. Oops. Wait, I'm not even in the game here. Exanguinous is still the best body armor. Even if I play a Paladin, I still want to have Exanguinous over any other body armor. I use this on pretty much all my characters. That just says a lot about how strong Ward actually is. The same with the last steps of the living. Um, it's just crazy how strong this currently is. So, one key thing though. I know you might now be like, come on, that, that all sucks. Now I can't even use my builds. I think this is good because this makes other defenses finally viable, right? We have Endurance, we have Block Chance, we even have Parry that was introduced with 1.0 that nobody uses. Not a single person uses the Parry Chance affixes, <laughs> like zero people. Um, the Endurance, we have the... Like the Shaman also has the, what's it called, the Bore of the Heart, like you take less damage, these kind of things. Because right now, Ward is just the only defense you really need. And once this is sort of leveled out, you can actually start to play with the other defenses as well. So you have more abilities to play with in the game. So I think this is actually very healthy for the game. 
that this is not the only thing that is good. You have other things to play with. That is great. We want that. We want to have the ability to go for armor or parry or endurance to work with our survivability and not just ward on any fucking build, right? And again, I've been a bug abuser. We all have been. Um... But yeah, because people were calling out that every build in this game is broken, if you think about it, because this is the main idea of finding a broken build. No, the main idea is finding a good build that can go to, like he said, Mike said, if you go to 300 corruption with your build, your build is good. It's great. It does everything it needs to do. You don't have to go any higher for your EP. -in. It's unnecessary. All right. This is pointless. You finish your build when you reach 200 corruption or even before that. Then the build is great. It's doing what it's supposed to do. All right. It's, it's very, very simple. Nothing crazy about it. Anyway, I just wanted to make a short video to talk about this because this is what will be coming with 1.1, which is in about two months. Until then, you can, you can still farm with your crazy builds. This is also, by the way, why they said they didn't give any rewards for the leaderboard in the first cycle because they were waiting to see how the builds figure out or how the builds play out. So. Next cycle, you will get rewards for your leaderboards as well. When they finally balance the game some more and it's not just ward and broken builds everywhere. So we're going to see a lot more variety in builds, defenses, offenses. I like this a lot. Way more variety, not just focusing on ward and all that. And this is very healthy for the game. I like this, what they're doing. I know people hate not being able to go to 2k corruption anymore then. But I think it's healthy for the game. So yeah, let me know what you think about this whole topic in the comments make sure to like and subscribe if you like what i'm talking about and like these videos and i will see you in the next video